Hello again, and welcome back to the What Is That video series. My name is Tom Hewlett. I'm the Museum Collections Technician and Researcher here at the Esplanade Arts and Heritage Center in Medicine Hat. Now, one of the, of the things that we need to always keep in mind when we're working with museum artifacts is the materials that the artifacts are made out of. Museums hold our collections in the public trust, and what that means is we care for the collections for you, the public. Part of that is making sure that the artifacts are stored safely, but also in an environment where they won't deteriorate. Now, we're fortunate here at the Esplanade that we are able to keep our relative humidity set to 50% and our temperature a constant 21 degrees Celsius, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, every week of the year. That stability is really important in taking care of museum collections. What can really damage an artifact is rapid changes in temperature and humidity. But sometimes there's particular materials that are very difficult to care for. So let's have a look at two of those now. This week's items both appear to be made of ivory, but in fact, only one of them is true ivory. The other is made of a white tinted celluloid, which is often called French ivory. The small jar is made of ivory from the tusk of an elephant. We can tell this from the faint Schrager lines, which can be seen inside the lid, though they may not be visible on the video. The trinket box is made of French ivory, and it isn't an animal product at all, but I'll get to that in a minute. Both true ivory and French ivory are quite sensitive materials and require careful storage. True ivory is hygroscopic, which means that it can absorb and release moisture as humidity changes. This also means that the ivory will swell up and shrink as it absorbs and releases moisture. This can be very damaging to ivory and can result in warping and cracking. Ivory is also subject to damage from light, so keeping the lights turned off and the humidity and temperature stable is a good practice for the ivory in the museum collection. 21 degrees and 50% relative humidity is ideal. However, it's not always as suitable an environment for items made of celluloid, such as the French ivory box. French ivory is just another name for celluloid, and celluloid is made mostly of nitrocellulose and camphor. The chemical process is complicated, but results in a material that is quite a lot like plastic. It was used to make an almost endless number of products in the late 19th and early 20th centuries, such as combs, and jewelry, handles for knives and brushes, boxes like this one, toys, almost anything that plastic might be used to make today. The problem is that celluloid is not very stable and can gradually break down, releasing the camphor as a gas, leaving the nitrocellulose, which can also degrade. Nitrocellulose is also the basis for smokeless gunpowder and some explosives, and is highly flammable. We can tell when French ivory and other celluloid items begin to break down, as they will usually warp, which we can see on the edges of the box here. Once the material has begun deteriorating, it cannot be stopped, but it can be slowed. Sometimes it happens quickly, and sometimes slowly. It's very difficult to predict. The celluloid handle on this umbrella in the museum collection has warped and broken as it deteriorated, and is now really falling apart. It's best to store celluloid items in a colder and drier environment than we maintain in the collection's storage area, but a stable environment is also very important. We also keep a very close watch on our collection for items that appear to be changing and deteriorating, and treat them separately if necessary. By the way, our building maintenance staff here at the Esplanade do a fantastic job in keeping the controlled environment stable. Their work helps us keep our collections safe, and we really appreciate them. So, thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.